All right. In this short presentation, we are going to look at the driver analysis. We have a data set that stores data on um, car insurance claims, including the policy information, the car owner information, and also the information about the vehicle and the coverage, including coverage type and et cetera, and also the claim reason and the total claim amount. So as you could see in here, when I created the data exploration, the first thing that I saw was a relationship diagram discussed in another video. So here you see the total claim amount is the four suggested targets. So let's take a look at this in depth. I'm going to click on choose type. And at this time, I'm going to select the spiral visualization here. Next, I need to specify what my target is. And to do that, I drag and drop total claim amount into this data slot, right? So let's see what I see in here. This is the spiral visualization, also known as bull's eye visualization. Each driver is represented as a pin. The closer the pin to the center, the stronger is the driver. A driver could be combination of two columns, it could be one column, or it could be a combination of three or more columns. So in here, for example, we have a combination of more than three columns, which is a vehicle tri class, employment status, marital status, et cetera. And the predictive strength of this driver is 55%. Here we have a vehicle class and employment status. It's a combination of two columns and the predictive strength is 45%. It's important to note that it will list only the drivers if their predictive strength is 10% or above. Anything below 10% will be omitted, right? So if the diagram looks, looks, looks a little bit too cluttered, I can toggle to see only one driver perhaps, or I can do to see two drivers, right? Or I can see everything. Now, notice this, if I hover over the pin, it's gonna give me the strengths and also give me the combination of the columns that I'm looking at, right? So now, suppose that I want to look in further details, I want to see visualizations. What do I need to do for that? Let me click on the new, and I'm gonna add a single card, and I'm gonna go, go choose type, and this time I'm going to select the driver analysis visualization type. And I also need to specify the target, which is total claim amount. Now this visualization is different from spiral visualization. You can look at it, you can think about it as a sliced spiral visualization. Here, the stronger is the driver, the more it's located to the right, right? The drivers that are located to the right are the strongest. On the left-hand side are the weakest. We also have each driver represented as a pin. And when you select the pin, when you click on the pin, you're gonna see the visualization right under the driver's visualizations. The visualization type that you see is selected based on the data types of the columns that are part of the driver. Like for example, in here, it's showing me average claim amount based on the employment status, right? So that plot, if I wanted to include this plot in my exploration workbook, all I do is just click on a plus sign and that would add a new card. That would add a new card, right? And if I wanted to, I can go ahead and modify, right? So here it is. I see the average claim amount by employment status over here in the details. I can read my insight, insights to learn more about it. So let's go back to the driver analysis again. And now I'm going to select something different, right? Like for example, this, and let's click on a plus sign to get a better view of this. So here it's a total claim amount by claim amount and number of policies. 
In here, it shows me the heat map and the color code represents the average claim amount, right? The, the darker color stands for the higher average claim amount. And I have two other columns, right? One is for the rows and another one is used for the, for the columns, right? And if I wanted to, I can look at the data slots and see how the visualization is configured for me. Now let's go back in here. What else we see is this. If you have the combination of drivers, the default visualization is going to be decision tree. And we're going to look at the decision tree details in another video, right? So then I can click more and I can see more, right? I'll let you explore this at your leisure. But one thing to remember is this, the, the stronger the predictive strength right, the more you see this to, on the right hand side, right? Uh, you can always add visualization and then you can change, you can edit visualization accordingly, such as change the visualization type, or you can uh, add filter to your visualizations perhaps, etc. Now, what else you could do, and you will have to do it in your assignment is this, you can click on See here, this is my uh, spiral visualization. I can choose which columns I don't want to use as a driver. For instance, here, I have a column called total claim amount. This is my target, but I also have a claim amount. Perhaps I want to remove the claim amount from my drivers. This is what I need to do. I'm gonna click here, right? And I'm gonna select edit drivers. Now, I need to find the claim amount. It's here and I'm going to uncheck and I'm gonna click okay to apply. Now what you will see is the visualization is going to update, right? That's more like it, that's more what I want, right? So the visualization updated for me and let's also go back to here and we are going to update this visualization. I'm gonna do edit drivers look edit drivers and I'm going to uncheck what I don't want and I'm going to click OK and my visualization is going to adjust for me. This is what you would need to do for your uh, assignment, right? You are asked to build two models. You're going to have the same target variable but perhaps for your second model you're going to have a different combination of columns or you could also apply filters. Perhaps in this case, I could look at uh, small vehicles, right? And, per, and I, can, I can limit my results to specific uh, claim type, right? Perhaps I want to look at the collision claims and for the small vehicle types, etc. All right, so thank you very much for watching this presentation. Let me know if there are any questions. Thank you.